Team Keep It Clean, what's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Um, and in this video, real good news, great news, actually. Um, and, and we always talk about how timing is everything. It, it just never fails. Uh, so, of course, um, Gus Edwards. Uh, I remember somebody asked me a question a couple of weeks ago. They were like, Engraven, who, who do you think is the better running back between Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins? And initially, I was like, hmm. That's a tough question. It was a really tough question because when they put me on the spot right then and there, I was like, ah, I don't know. But after getting a refresher course on who Gus Edwards is and what he does, um, I, I, I had to go with him. I had to go with Gus Edwards. And, and again, that's not a shot at J.K. Dobbins at all. It's really not because both of them bring their own skill set. Both of them are good running backs. But I just think that Gus Edwards uh, is the best running back on this team. That's why um, upon his return, because he was he was missed badly because and, and it showed that he was missed badly over the past two I mean excuse me over the past year and a half um, because last year they definitely missed him uh, especially all, and this year with all the, the the short yardage conversions the fourth downs the failed fourth down attempts fourth and one fourth and inches fourth and two a lot of times you can just hand it off to Gus and get those yards but he ain't got Gus and <laughs> they don't want to use Pat Ricard in that form of fashion they want to use Pat Ricard for everything else they want to use him for everything else except being a short yardage back. Blows my mind. But anyway, um, in the Bucks game, uh, Gus Edwards was running hard. Gus Edwards brought life to the offense. Remember, especially in the third quarter when the Ravens were looking down and out, they handed the ball. They handed the ball to Gus Edwards, and he just broke. It was the, the their first drive of the third quarter. I think they um they were backed up on like the six yard line or something like that. And I was thinking, uh, well, hopefully we get like a the ninety five yard, ninety four yard touchdown drive. But hey, we'll, we'll see. Especially how the offense had been. They handed it off to Gus. Life, energy, right away. Um, but then, and he was running hard that game. He's running hard the past couple of games and running good the past couple of games. And, and, and I was so surprised with him being back that they were giving him just so many carries right away. Um, sorry, the, the camera keep fogging up because it's a little warm outside. But anyway, uh, he looked good in his return. Uh, that's why when he went down in that Bucks game, a lot of us were scared. A lot of us were like, oh, boy, come on. Nah, just say it ain't so, man. Um, and when he went down, he was sort of holding his hamstring. Uh, and I was like, I was hoping that it was a hamstring. And then he stayed down for a little bit. And I was like, I don't know. And then he got up and he was still holding a hamstring. But he was walking by himself. And I was like, oh, okay, he's straight. He'll be good. Um, so I didn't think it was anything serious. But getting this good news, this official good news from Ian Rappaport, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Um, not that Gus is injured, obviously, but that the fact that it's not a significant or serious injury. Um, and the, the, the timing of it is big, too. Because let, let's just read it straight from him. He said, um, good news for Ravens running back Gus Edwards. Uh, the hamstring injury he suffered on Thursday is described as a minor or as minor. He, wrote, he meant to write as minor, but he wrote as a minor. But I'm sure he meant as a minor injury or as minor. Whatever, y'all get it. Uh, source said, and if he misses time, it's likely just a week or so. Now, I know that just that likely just a week or so, especially with a hamstring injury, it can linger. It can be a week. But he said if he even misses time. So it's possible that he may not even miss time. And this is what I was talking about earlier with timing. Because the... Um, they got a game on the next game is next Monday. So they they had their game on Thursday night. So they have to rest. They have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, then another Monday. So they got like what, 10, 11 days of rest before the next game. So best case scenario Gus Edwards is ready to go uh, against the Saints come Monday Night Football in New Orleans. That should be a fun one, too. Um, worst case, and, and hey, by the way things are going, Ravens might not even play, be playing against Alvin Kamara. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, um, so worst case, I mean, excuse me, best case scenario, he might not be able to go against New Orleans. Um, worst case scenario, if he does, if he does have to miss, a, well, worst case scenario will be missing like a couple of weeks. But another, the best worst case scenario, I guess, would be him missing one game. And it's like, okay, if he misses the game against New Orleans, um, not that you can sleep on any opponents or anything like that. But if he misses the game against New Orleans, uh, then 
the Ravens are on a bye week. So he would have even more time to recover. So you have these 11 days, these 10, 11 days to get right. And then on top of that, he would have a whole nother week to get right. So, I mean, hey, if, if, if that's how it's got to be, okay, cool. That, no problem with me. Um, I mean, we would much rather have Gus Edwards, even against New Orleans. I know they looking like a lesser team right now, but sorry, I know these Ravens and the Kings sleep on nobody. Um, so with that being said, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. we'll see what happens with them. Um, the, the Ravens, they do have their fair share of backs currently on the roster. Um, they have uh, obviously Kenyon Drake, who's been looking better and better as the season has gone along. Uh, they have Justice Hill, who, when he's been given his opportunity, he's been killing it. And I know y'all heard me say this before. I got to say it again. I, I did not think that he was going to be on the roster this year. I thought that Justice Hill was going to be at on the practice squad at the most. I did not think he was going to be on the active roster. Now, I'm sure J.K. Dobbins, that may have, that his injury and whatnot, them not being ready to really unleash J.K. Dobbins from jump, that probably has something to do with it. And with Tyler Beatty, they drafted him, but they cut him and put him on the practice squad, so I'm sure that had a lot to do with it. But uh, And then Justice Hill just showing showing himself, not just the other guys, but what just not what the other guys haven't done, but also what Justice Hill did do. That had a lot to do with him making the roster so i don't want to just put it like oh yeah justice hill only made it because those guys didn't look good but no justice hill made it because he looked good in training camp in practice and all that so he's done his thing uh, so i'm happy for him i'm happy for him so it's, it's been uh working out for him for sure and we hope it continues to um so we'll see how that goes they also got uh mike davis so I guess it's Mike Davis if Gus Edwards ends up. And this is all only if Gus Edwards misses a game. If he ends up missing a the game, then Mike Davis would be active, obviously. Um, and it was, it's, it's so crazy because I remember going into this season, like, we were all wondering who are the Ravens going to keep at running back? Who are they going to have at running back? Because before we knew, like, really knew when Gus or J.K. were going to be back, like, officially, it was like, all right, Ravens got J.K., they got Gus, they got Justice, they got Beatty, they got Mike Davis. Then they messed around and signed Key and Drake, too. It was like, whoa, like, what are they doing? Why they, they, they got like five running backs on the team. They, they ain't no way they're keeping all of them. And the way, unfortunately, the way that it worked out with the injuries and all that, it made them keep all of them. But, again, the timing, again, timing is everything, whether it's good or bad, it's just everything. But the timing of them keeping all of them, some of them were out, some of them were in, and y'all y'all know the rest of the story. But with Mike Davis, um, he is, uh, you figure he, if Gus is out, you figure that he's going to get a chance. Now, you know what? Somebody was messing with me. Uh, oh, my guy Blue. My guy Blue on Instagram. He said, well, hey, he's, and, and this was actually a question from a subscriber, too, from my guy Gold Morano. So, my guy Gold Morano put in a question for themselves, and my guy Blue, he talked about it to me on Instagram. He's like, man, what if Ravens mess around and trade for a running back? That's, that's the big splash move that they make come to deadline. I, I, I told him, I said, don't play with me, man. Don't, don't, don't play with me. But then I was like, at the same time, these Ravens, boy, they, I, I could see them doing it. I would hope that they wouldn't, but I could see them doing something like that. But, I mean, we'll see what they do. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Uh, I, I love y'all. Thank y'all for everything. Thank you for supporting like crazy. And just like hopefully Gus Edwards won't have to be we out.